Hello, hello, hello. I am Val or Valeris, but you can call me Val because Val is easier to remember and Valeris is too long to type. Hi, how are you doing? I hope your life's doing good because I haven't existed in like a month. Um, yeah, my last upload was a month ago. Uh, definitely because my life's been busy and not because I totally cringed at the video that I was planning to upload and then I never got around to making another one. Yeah, it definitely didn't happen. Um, but hi, I'm here with a video now. Awkward finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, I do have like a, a life update, I guess, um, in terms of I won't be uploading as frequently as I used to, which was <laughs> once a week. I've been trying to post a little more on Instagram, and I've also been studying a Cert 3 in hospitality currently, four weeks into that course, and every Monday and Tuesday, I devote my life to going into the TAFE <laughs> to do that. So I don't really have t <laughs> time on those days to devote to making a video, and on top of that, making drawings specifically for Instagram, and fingers crossed, um, <laughs> I got my RSA, so I applied to work at a bar. We won't get too far into that either, but fingers crossed I get the job, <laughs> which means I also, depending on my shifts, won't have time to do a whole lot of drawings and video recordings and voiceovers. So I can, oh, I, I, at least to some extent, I'll try and upload a video whenever I can, <laughs> which I don't know when that will be yet, but I have an interview tomorrow, so I will let future me interject and continue this voiceover. Um, they can let you know how the interview went. I have a feeling that it won't go great because I am a fucking anxious mess, but one can hope it goes well. <laughs> so anyway, I'll peace out now and I will let future me continue. Hello, it is future Val who just woke up, so I apologize if I sound weird. Um, so yeah, update about the interview. It went better than I expected, um, <laughs> which is super great. So I have a training day next week, which is super fun, super great, hopefully that goes well. Anyway, now that's all the updates I have about that, we will get into me explaining what I did for the drawing, I guess. <laughs> So starting off, I made a 3D model in Blender with no intention that I was really going to be drawing over it, but I decided that I wanted to, so I made a 3D model based off like, I guess a building in like my fantasy story thing that I'm kind of writing, and with like the intention that I was going to draw over it, so it didn't matter how janky it looked. Like I'm not going to be like a 3D game modeler anytime soon except that might be a possibility there's like a bridge in leeway harbor that is kind of a a little tilted <laughs> in genshin but yeah i started off with that and i brought it into clip studio paint and traced over it and then sketched in my characters but unfortunately i didn't like have the idea to record this until after I did the sketch and I was like yeah I haven't uploaded in a month I should probably be recording this for content <laughs> so I recorded it but if you want to see like the full time-lapse sketch thing uh it'll be on my Instagram um that's valerian underscore or v-a-l-i-r-e-o-n underscore it'll also be on the screen um, but yeah, and then just doing a whole lot of line art, super great, super fun, you know how things go. <laughs> I'm really trying to focus on adding a whole bunch of contrast to this, really making the lights and darks really light and dark. 
Um, so a whole lot of blacks in the shadows with not too much greys. And a whole lot of whites, but I will come back in later with a screen tone. And I think it's just like a grey fill. Um, but you'll see I have an issue with the contrast when we get to like, uh, my character drawings. Because they don't really stand out as much as I would love them to from the background, and... It's just not what I was envisioning, I guess. <laughs> I... I did fix them afterwards, but... Uh, for a start, it, for, like, at the start, it was just way too dark. I put way too much blacks, and yeah, it just wasn't what I was going for. And then I, yeah, really struggling with the, with these poses. Really struggling. Um, yeah, just struggling with the poses. Um, I did. Uh, Soren's pose, the one that I'm doing right now. <laughs> I was not planning to give her a sword, but I felt like it was the only way to make the pose not look weird, I suppose. Also, you'll see that I do a lot of her front half with white, which doesn't make sense when the light source is from behind, but I didn't want to lose a lot of the detail that I <coughs> drew in. Which I completely just go over later and I do like her full front completely just in black and I think it looks way cooler. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say, so I will peace out and come back to give you the outro. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse. <laughs> Actually, here I am trying to fix my mistakes with how dark everything was before, you know, going through and erasing a lot more of the black to make the characters really stand out. But yeah, I'm going in with a lot more greys this time instead of just full on blacks for the shadows because, you know, they're the focal point and I don't want them to blend into the background too much even though, actually that might be a screen tone. <laughs> going in with screen tones and then I do go back in with greys later. 
Um, I also do the same thing with the background, but I think the characters stand out a little more this time, I hope. <laughs> no? Am I not? Oh my god. Why was I going in with grey? I guess it was so I could easily s Okay, yeah, I got it. Um, <laughs> sorry, I disregard everything that I just said. I didn't want to erase the background in case I wanted to move the characters, so I went in with grey so I could see, like, the fill easier. Easy- e uh, easier. Easy- <laughs> Oh, English. Um, yeah, I just wanted to be able to fill the characters and be able to see it, that makes sense. And now I'm adding, uh, more shadows to the background because I feel like it lacked a lot of detail. Um, I normally put my detail in with colored squiggles, but I couldn't do that with, uh, with grayscale. I mean, I could color it in with color and then turn it grayscale, which would have been a smart idea, but I did not do that. <laughs> Um, okay, so now I'm doing the thing that I said I was gonna do, where I fix up all the shadows by erasing... I think I'm using the select tool to select some black areas and bring more light onto them, especially on Merrick, because he was really dark, and considering his front half is being lit with light, there should be more light on him, which... I don't know what my brain was doing, I just... I know that the light isn't technically correct, but... It just makes the characters stand out a little more, which was what I wanted in the first place. This is really just me messing around with a whole bunch of whites and blacks to try and just up the contrast of the image so nothing looked too like samey, which can happen with the uh, black and white images. Now I'm going in with the screen tones, uh, focusing a lot on the highlights that are in the- well, the highlights that are in the darkness. The dark areas that- I mean to sneeze, sorry. <laughs> um, putting screen turns on the areas in the shadows that I want to be lighter, I guess. <laughs> and also doing that in the background, trying to add a little more detail to it with the screen turn as well. I think I do two different layers of screen tones, one that's darker and then one which is lighter. But a whole lot of this is just going to be me messing around with the lights and darks until I figure out, uh, <laughs> until I'm happy with how it looks, I suppose. Until we get to the part of me trying to figure out what accent color I wanted to use, um, red typically goes well with blacks, whites, and grays, and I'm also a really big fan of trash polka tattooing styles, so red's always a good choice, but <laughs> it is very overused in black and white illustrations, so I, at least for the first time that I tried to do this, I went with a blue, which will probably be on screen, that image, but I just gave in and did red, because I just think red looks the best. <laughs> um, and then I also end up doing a glow effect on the, like, uh, panel at the top left, Soren's eye. 
just um, also just trying to add a bunch of red in like tiny sections in different spots so it didn't feel out of place. You know, at least so there was more red in the image. But yeah, I do add a, with a soft airbrush, I add an add glow of, I think it's an add glow layer of red on top of, uh, yeah, Soren's eye, which I haven't done yet. <laughs> I actually don't know when I do it, and then I do add some, um, beams of light with white on... I don't know if there's a layer effect on it, or if I just turn the opacity down, and then I just, like, blurred the edges of them a bit. Anyway, um, here's the final image. As much as there are things that I don't like about it, overall I think it looks pretty cool. Um, if you also like this image, consider giving me a like, and subscribing. And if you didn't like the video, you should probably get some help because I can't fix that for you, and I think a professional can. Bye.